Hi, my name is Phil. Um, Shakespeare said it best when he says, to be be or not to be be, that's the question. But what we're talking about is back buttering time. The reason for this test is to see if there is a visual difference of thin set coverage um, between tiles that are back buttered and not back. We'll be looking at Hardy Backer, um, Self Leveling Compound, and Duroc. We're also going to be using Noble Seal, regular plywood, and then of course Dietra from Schluter. The phrase back butter means to apply a skim coat of thin set to the back of each tile using the flat side of the trowel. The purpose of this is to try to achieve 100% coverage. Okay, we'll be installing two tiles on each of the substrates. One will be dry, the second one will be back buttered. Now let's begin. We actually start by keying in our modified thin set into the substrate. We're doing that to make sure that we get a good coverage on our substrate. We'll come back and then we're going to use the notch size of the trowel. After we've done that, we make sure that we back butter the tile. Again, just spin it on our tool. And then we'll be setting it into the wet thin set. Make sure we push forward and pull back to try to collapse the combs. Second tile, just be dry set. We'll be doing that for each one of the six different substrates. As per Schluter's instructions, we're going to be using an unmodified thin set here um, to set our tiles on our Dietra. Uh, the reason being is that Dietra is waterproof and we would be trapping uh, moisture when we're using a modified. So as per their instructions, we use an unmodified and it will mechanically bond our tile to the Dietra. Once again, we're going to be back buttering our tile to make sure that we get 100% coverage of our thin set on our back of our tile before we set it into our cone surface. Okay, now we've set um, two tiles on each of our substrates. We're going to allow the thin set a full week to cure. Then we'll come back and we'll remove the tiles. Okay, it's been a full week now. We've allowed our thin set to cure. We've got miscellaneous tools here that we're going to be using to remove their tiles. Okay, we'll be starting with the tile that was not back buttered on the dirt rock. As we pull it up, you see that we have the voids underneath the tile. Next, we move to the one that was back buttered, and we found that it was obvious that there was more effort required to pull up that tile. And as it came up, it actually pulled up some of the Duroc with it. Next, we move to the tile that was on the self leveling compound. Again, the non back buttered showed voids underneath the tile. The second tile, same as the first, took a far more effort 
to remove the tile that was back buttered. It came up in pieces. Okay, we move to the hardy backer. That one again, we started with the tile that was not back buttered. As we pulled it up, visual voids on the bottom of the tile. Moving to the tile that was back buttered, same as the first two. Much more effort needed to remove the tile. It's obvious the reason that we put 100% coverage of, of the thin set to the backs of the tile is so that we have a more permanent installation. Moving now to the Noble Seal, the uh, unback butter tile. We see that it actually pulls the thin set off of the membrane. But then again, we still see that there are voids underneath the tile that was not back buttered. The tiles that were back buttered, still 100% covered. Moving to the plywood, voids underneath it. second tile when we remove that you see that the thin set didn't even stick to the plywood okay now we moved on to the Ditra uh, we started with the tile that was not back buttered and actually this one surprised me I did not expect that the thin set would be drawn out of the waffle backing on that tile so we moved to the one that was back buttered and the only difference I see here is that it took much more effort to pull up that tile. Because the Ditra is mechanically bonded, apparently that's why the thin set comes up with the tile. In conclusion, we did find that there is a visual difference between a tile that is not back buttered and one that is back buttered. So, of course, by creating 100% coverage of the thin set to the backs of each tile, we're giving the best case possibility for successful and a long-lasting tile installation.